IPM is a real concentration on our growing methods here at Three Springs. And it's something that has been part of the way we thought about growing our, our produce for a long time. You know, going back as, as long as I can remember, my dad explaining that he had to spray. You know, not that he automatically did, that this event occurred and now he has to spray. And since about the year 2000 or so, we've been very fortunate to pair up with uh, some of our research scientists at the Penn State Fruit Research and Extension Center in Biglerville. And through working with them, they were able to have a number of different um, experiments done in our orchards to kind of learn a little bit about new and innovative ways of uh, growing our fruit. And this was directly related to IPM. And so since about that time, um, we've really been concentrating a lot more on really what I would call more intensified uh, integrated pest management techniques. Um, everything from mating disruption that we, we have right now on virtually all of our apples and 100% uh, of our peaches is in using a technology called mating disruption which allows us to control a number of internal insects. That would be an insect that would make a worm, for example, on a piece of fruit. Through mating disruption, we're able to do that without any sprays because the pheromone prohibits those insects from mating in our orchards. And this is all a result of experiences we gained through our partnership with Penn State Research and also a number of extension programs. And you know, being able to use it and get some firsthand experience, we've been able to use mating disruption to reduce the amount of spraying we do for insects. So this is a mating disruption uh, dispenser and what this allows us to do is these are uh, manually placed uh, evenly all over our orchard and this side controls one insect this side controls another insect by emitting the natural uh, pheromone the sex pheromone of these insects all over our orchard and what this effectively does is confuses the males in the area that they can fly and fly and, and it smells like there's a, a female everywhere they turn but they can never find them, never mate and never harm our crop just by hanging these things up in the orchard. And the nice thing about this is again because we use these it minimizes our sprays and also these things work 24 hours a day for approximately 140, 160 days. Um, whether we're sleeping, whether it's raining, these things are always working to protect our crops and it's a method that we use that doesn't require any sprayed applications. And we've seen increased quality and increased control of insects using mating disruption every year. And we've been in mating disruption for approximately uh, six or seven years. So scouting is something that's very important to us here in terms of how we're um, managing our disease control and our insect control. Um, that's something that's actually one of my personal responsibilities is we have all over our orchard somewhere in the vicinity of about 80 different pheromone traps which are hung at various places in the orchard so we can monitor um, not only what different insects are present but also in what quantity what the population size is and to monitor you know when they're flying and when the generations are hatching so we can really pinpoint, if, we, if they're bad enough that we do have to go and spray, we can pinpoint exactly when that is so that we make one spray and eliminate all of our problems instead of, you know, other options would be to, to just spray every two weeks or whenever we think there's something out there. We're really very careful about only spraying when there's some gain associated, you know, a feasible result. And that's accomplished through our scouting. You can't you can't be a good IPM grower unless you know what's out in your orchard. These are examples of our pheromone traps. This is uh, the method we use to monitor the flight population of uh, a number of different harmful pests in apples and peaches. And each of these things have a, have a sticky uh, piece of paper on the bottom that's used to actually keep the little guys glued to the spot. And inside is a small almost looks like a, a pencil eraser that emits the same sex pheromone that, that we would use in a mating disruption situation. And by checking these once a week, every single trap gets checked every week, we're able to monitor the flight 
and size the population that we're trying to control. And by doing that, we only will spray if there's an absolute, absolute need to do so. And we're going to know why we're doing it, and uh, we can adjust what we spray and how we spray accordingly to minimize the effect on the environment, minimize the amount of times we have to go and, and fill that sprayer up, because it's definitely not the first thing we'd, we'd like to be doing on a day like today.